Hi, my name is Randy Eggert, and this is for the class Bad Words and Taboo Terms. This is a companion video to an earlier video that we did about coprolalia and Tourette syndrome. This one is about coprolalia across languages. We're going to be looking at different languages and what words are used among coprolalics in those different languages. And the idea is to see the cultural differences and how coprolalia gets affected by culture. So what we'll see is that because the cultures differ, the languages will differ in what words get used by coprolalics. Now, what we're going to see, so this is taken from a study that was done by Singer 1997 and then distilled to a degree by Miller 2001. And Singer laments the fact that this was actually a very hard study to do. What he did was he just looked at all of the literature he could find about, you know, case studies, about Tourette's who have coprolalia in different languages. And what he found was that a lot of the psychologists that would be talking about these patients, they didn't want to actually say the words of the patient. So many of these psychologists would just say things like a vulgarity or a foul word, something along those lines. And so it was only a, a, a small number of studies that were actually willing to state what the words were that were used by these coprolalics. Um, what we'll find is that the largest number were taken from English. That doesn't mean that English has more words that are used by coprolalics, only that they were able to find more studies. And English is, is just basically the, the language that is studied the most around the world. And so it's not surprising that more studies would be done and so more examples were found by Singer. So this is, uh, these are case studies that were done in the US and in the UK for English. And so we've got fuck, shit, bitch, asshole, bastard, pussy, prick, fart, nigger, piss, dick, cock, cunt, and sod. In the original artic article, Singer divided them into uh, those that were found in the US and those that were found in the UK. There were some slight differences between the two countries, um, nothing huge. And the, I think the only one that's really significantly different that we would expect to be different is sod, since that's a word not used in the US. The next language that we're going to be looking at is Danish. And um, I'm just going to read through these words first and then try to highlight a few. So there's kaft, meaning shut up. And I apologize about my pronunciation. I do not speak Danish. Svin, swine. Fisa, vulva. Kusa, vulva. Peak, penis. Rob, ass. Peace, ass. Sku, by God. Lorp, shit. Notice that there's some profanity here, sku. There's some scatology, uh, quite a bit of scatology, shit, and then um, arguably all of the uh, body part words are also some, uh, scatology as well as obscenity. And then there's shut up, which is kind of an interesting one because we don't think of that as being taboo in the U.S., but apparently, actually, in a lot of languages, there are taboo words for shut up. Um, I learned this uh, accidentally in, in um, Hungarian, uh, it, the, the Hungarian word kush, um, which I'd been saying for quite a while, not knowing that it was really a bad thing to say. I'd kind of jokingly say it to my friends, and I would say it in public. And it uh, wasn't until many years after I left Hungary that a friend of mine kind of just politely told me, Randy, just, just so you know, that's kind of a bad word. Um, so I was kind of embarrassed that um, I'd been apparently offending people. All right, Spanish. Uh, this is based on Spanish from Spain. And there are quite a few differences in, in taboo words across the Spanish-speaking world. So we would expect then that copper laylicks in different parts of the world who speak Spanish are going to have different taboo words. So these are all taken from studies done in Spain. Uh, we get puta, whore, mierda, shit, coño, vulva, jode, fornicate, maricon, homosexual, cojones, testicles, puta, son of a whore, hostia, 
holy bread. And um, I, again, I apologize. I'm not a Spanish speaker, so my pronunciation is terrible. Here we see only one that, that, that's really surprising, and that would be hostia. Um, you know, and only surprising to us coming from the United States, but this actually turns out to be fairly common, um, especially in very Catholic countries that the, um, the host, right, the bread eaten in communion, um, does end up being a taboo word in some um, cultures. And, you know, clearly it's a, it's a type of profanity. Cantonese, uh, this is in Hong Kong, and we only have a small number from here, but I think that's, again, mostly because of just a lack of, of case studies. Um, and most of these seem to be obscenities. There's tu, meaning fuck, tu ma, motherfucker, tu so, and fucker. And then, I'm sorry, I skipped one. There was shui, useless one. And again, let me apologize for my pronunciation. Um, useless one is really the only, you know, one that, that, that's not an obscenity. It's a slur of sorts, I guess. And then our last language that we'll be looking at is Japanese. Um, and before I go through this, I, I do want to note that some studies have argued that there are fewer copper laylicks um, among Tourettes in Japan per capita than we find in other languages. Um, and at least one person argued that perhaps that's because in Japan uh, there, there are other sort of avenues for Tourette's to, to um, meet the need, the taboo need that the Tourette syndrome calls for. Uh, even just speaking loudly can be considered highly taboo in Japan. Um, so they're, they're, you know, perhaps the small number of them here is less surprising because you won't find many case studies, apparently, of copper lalix in Japan. Uh, the examples we do have are, um, I guess, their scatology and obscenity and slurs. So, um, you know, kind of an overlap there between scatology and obscenity and slurs, and then we've got an obscenity at the bottom. So let me go through them quickly. Kusobaba, shit grandma. Chikusho, son of a bitch. Omanko, female genitalia and breasts. And again, my pronunciation is terrible because uh, somehow Singer only chose to survey languages that I do not speak. I blame Singer. Okay.